Hi, everybody. We have some new and exciting things coming up this year. Um, got some great partnerships that are in the works. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to show you our new studio or lab or workroom, whatever you want to call it. What should we call it? Let me know what you think. So anyway, here is the grand tour. So as I said, we've got some new and exciting things going on this year, but this is our studio. Here is a quick overview for you. I'm really excited to be in this space. It makes working so much easier because now everything is super organized and it's great. So let's start here. So we got our computer here, my notebook where I just jot down ideas when things come to me or if it's something that my daughter who's away at college um, but if she has an idea she'll text it to me and, and we'll talk about it we have a meeting once a month um, or more often if we need it here we got some um, mail to go through we've got some invoices um, some packaging up here i love this this is something my husband gave me for christmas um, just some words of encouragement, persistence, perseverance, execution, and grind. That's what it's all about, right? You got to have all of these to make your dream come true. And anybody can do it. And the poor plant, mm, I tried, but I'm going to stick to what I know, which is um, doing beauty care for all of us. So anyway, i um, got our TV up there just to have some white noise in the background. We're down here working. Um, over here in the corner, of course, got trash can. And this is on my little file where I have um, some labels and stuff that we can print when we need it. Down on the floor is we've got some new things coming up for uh, the women's collection and the men's collection. Some things coming out for Mother's Day and Father's Day. So that's what these two boxes are. I've been getting all of my jars in. I'm really excited. I'll show you one of them here um, that I love. Hold on a second. So here's one of the new jars. It's a glass jar. It's frosted, um, very sleek. It's gonna be part of our Lux collection. So I love, love, love it. It's so wonderful. It's a perfect size for some of the things we've got coming up. So there's that. Here, just some drawers where we've got some of our things organized um, in there. Like for example, I have some plastic bags when I need to kind of store some things. And over here is where we have some of our um, extracts and like our castor oil and our um, vegetable glycerin and our citrus citric acid so that we can make sure that things are have the proper pH. Um, this is part of our, our simple blend collection. Uh, for those with uh, sensitive skin, it's great for babies. Um, um, some of our hair and skin care collection. We've got our body butters and creams and all of our essential oils and fragrances and some things from the men's collection. And down here, we've got some of our clays and some of... This is something new. I haven't tried it yet. It's from Lotion Crafters. It's IPM. MB and also uh, Nature Seal. So these are um, oil esters that are supposed to be just as great in emollient for your skin as the regular carrier oils, but not quite as oily. So we're gonna give those a try soon. Um, some more things we've got stored there. Here are some more of our extracts, um, some of our like, chamomile extract from Crafter's Choice. Um, some Vision Hydrate, some hydrolyzed oat protein. This is one of my new favorite things. It's a peppermint hydrosol. It smells so good and it's great for our uh, face washes. And these things I love. This is my emulsifying wax. And what else do I have here? Uh, Satiro alcohol and some BTMS 50. So what I do is I just cut the labels off. And if there's special notes on about things that I want to remember, 
we'll write them there. And these things are great. I got these just from the Dollar Tree. So I, I wash them and sterilize them, sanitize them really well. And then I just keep refilling them as I need to. And some of my butters are there. And of course, you gotta have some alcohol to make sure things are sterilized properly. And what's down here? We got some soaps and powders and seeds and um, some exfoliants and our flowers are here. Got some rosebuds here for our uh, rosy body oil, which smells fabulous. So you come over here and this is our packing station where I've got uh, packing labels and instruction sheets like I always include with the uh, body scrubs just so people know you know what to do if they've never used one there's a scale that I use when I'm weighing things to to mail out and package um, some of our new containers as I was mentioning this will be part of the men's collection look how sleek that is I just love love it and uh, our matching jars so stay tuned this is gonna be awesome looking forward to that these are some epic epic fails so I was trying to do a, a moisturizing stick and these containers y'all just to be honest is they're just trash so didn't work out the way I was hoping to but it's a product that I won't throw away I'll use it for myself and again this is another that goes part of the the men's collection so I was trying to get them all together and see how they look together so I think we're gonna do good um, back here we've got some of our business cards some coupon cards here that go in all of our orders has a coupon code on there and got tape the measuring tapes and markers and pens and these are some of the jars that I've um, washed and sanitized and we're going to start working on uh, getting those filled here in just a little bit these are some new jars or um, bottles that I just got in. I ordered one pack and I tried them and I loved it. So it's gonna be great for just like a Kiri hand cream. Um, made of silicone, really soft. I love these, they turned out well. And coming over here, we got gloves and of course some um, sanitizing wipes and pipettes and um, all of the utensils, got a couple of scales in case one goes out, I actually have three. These are good to measure in very smaller quantities. This one doesn't measure in smaller quantities, but it's great when I'm making larger batches. Got um, the thermometer here so that, you know, some preservatives, you have to wait until things are a certain temperature before you add the preservative in. So I do that. Uh, this is another thermometer here it's a digital one and up here we've got mixers and cups and emulsion blenders and some of the beakers I have some that um, I used earlier so those are being uh, washed got extra containers up top here we got sample containers and all different types of mica and dropper bottles here and lip balm containers. Got our foaming bottles in there. And this is the actual workstation. So underneath is where I store all of my jars. So we've got our two ounce jars, four ounce jars. This is some eight ounce jars that just came in from um, Boca Apothecary. Eight ounce jars. Um, some of our things that we use to heat products when we need to and my little step down there because I can't reach all the way up there so that's what that is oh and I didn't show you the rest of the packing station so I've got cardstock here and boxes and bags and more boxes to uh, when I want to make gift boxes here and down here I've got some um, paper that I use for packaging and envelopes and my little uh, stationary cart. So there's more tape and there's spoons for the uh, scrubs. And of course, crinkle cut paper. And in here, there's more boxes. 
um, it's time to make some more of those. My son's coming home from college soon, so hopefully we'll get him to work on that. And I love these because it's like you can just press it to close and press it to open. So great. And anyway, so this is where we do the actual work over here. Got the skillet when we need to heat some things up. And this is our, our picture taking station. Uh, we're getting there with the pictures. Still working on that, but we're getting there. Um, got the ring light because we're going to start doing more videos and bringing more content to you. And here I have all of my labels nicely organized here. And the last thing I'll show you is over here, whenever we get to work, we always put on an apron or a lab coat. So those are usually uh, always hanging there. We've got some in the wash. And at the end of the day, we always wipe down everything with sanitizing wipes before we start. And at the end of the day, and we sweep up. And this is a cutting board. So yeah, so that's our studio. Got rubber mats because some of the days are very long. So it's important to make sure you have something that's gonna support you and help um, ergonomically uh, make sure you're supporting your back and your feet as you're standing and working. So that's what the mats are. And yeah, I think that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. We've got lots of things planned coming up for you. So look out for those videos, some things that um, we're making. I've had a lot of requests from people asking, how do you do this and how do you do that? So we're gonna work on that. Um, more content coming soon. So thanks for taking a tour of, a tour of Shea Luxie Studios or Shea Luxie Lab. Hmm. We'll see what feels comfortable. Until next time, talk to you soon.